I've never been a fan of drama or anything, but I gotta say, Addison Ray being in a movie. Have you guys heard about this? Yeah, and so I, I, I've never. I, 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 I declined to comment. <laughs> I don't really know anything about it. I've never. Really I've never much, been but. a fan of TikTok. Um, there's. I believe there's so many people deserving of the recognition and fame that TikTokers get, but deserve is also a word based on opinion. So. I'm I'm not jealous or anything. I'm just saying, me or maybe even other people could pro- could provide a lot more in their place. So I don't know. I think I think there's others besides me that could provide a lot more in their place. Um, and uh, <laughs> some production. Issues yeah, we got back. some production. I don't know. Apologize for technical on. difficulties. Um, yeah. So the movie is called He's All That, and judging from the title. Um, romance and her it's definitely romance or drama and or drama shocker um, probably see, it's probably yeah pro- probably like a, it's like a Netflix Titanic movie? type thing like, yeah it's, like it's, a, it is, is on Netflix yeah I can say now I will not be watching this movie <laughs> I will <laughs> not be the performance on if I song. would it would solely be for research purposes yeah, I mean look what's an actress she's a songwriter now I mean that's okay so for me good. I don't care who's acting as long as their acting is good then they will gain my respect yeah. if, if Jake Paul was acting but he could actually act I would respect him for that. He's on a Disney Channel show, so I mean, he has more background, he did not, but it was yeah, Disney but Channel. It wasn't very... Completely yeah. different, yeah. But if Addison Rae can act, she will have my full respect. And most other people's respect, too. If she cannot, then I'm going to be upset that they let a TikToker go this deep into the entertainment well, industry. Well, it's going to make them get more money because all of her fans... Like, it oh, is, it is. They're going to make so much more money. They're going to make so much more money. If she performs terrible, they're not going to regret the decision, I don't think. I don't think there's, I don't think there's yeah, any regret. It's a win-win for... Yeah, easy win-win for them, win because it is, yes. they're probably underpaying. Uh, I don't know about they're, that. I, from I the, from the preview, the budget seems pretty high. The quality's pretty nice. So Yeah, they probably... And it's Netflix. They put in some... They do have some great movies, so... I don't know. She's obviously a model, dancer. She seems to be a nice person. Um, she kind of has to put on this like beauty model type ego, I guess, yeah. right? But um, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I do agree with what you said at the beginning. Though, like, I don't really care too much about that stuff. Like, <laughs> I, I, don't, I, really I really know, know like a lot of but I know it's parents popping. are like people are obsessed like celebrities. I mean, like MTV, E News, all that stuff. Like. I you know, I said, dude, who I said there should be Addison Rae. I literally, I said there should be a celebrities <laughs> lives matter movement. Yeah, like, there's probably one of those out there, yeah, <laughs> or something. Probably. Some um, but fan. honestly, I think she's trying to, she's trying different things in the business to see where she um, is best at and what, which is a, a good, great approach. I mean, good for yeah, good for her. She's successful, but, honestly, but okay. I don't care about her at all. So yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I'm not gonna say okay. Here, here's one thing though. I do not believe. She has a musical writing talent. Um, who knows? She might it's be good at acting. Written anyways, but it probably well. She, I guarantee you, she got lots of help with it. Um, but when you look Addison Ray up on YouTube, like I mean, not on YouTube, just on Google right now, she it. comes up. Guess, what, guess what? Guess what? She a comes songwriter? up as yes. She comes up as American singer. Oh, oh, yours is yo, all, it does say that American now yours singer. Is TV, now yours is TV. Now yours is TV personality. Mine says mine says American singer. See. So they got one of those words right. She's American, but I don't know about singer, dude. She's um, she's. Oh, do we got a we got a problem? <laughs> Did man shut it off or what? Okay, okay, okay. Mason mess up. <laughs> technical, diffi- technical difficulties <laughs> on the set right now. First episode. Oh, first we're episode. Fine, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, so yeah, she's labeled as an American singer on some people's. Um, I don't know if she gets to decide what Google says about her or not. But Maybe I, I would does. not. I would. Sorry. And also, if you look up like Josh Richards, that guy, he comes up as musical songwriter. Josh. Is he per, he's, a he's, he's a TikToker. Yeah, that is. I, I, I'm a fan of Josh Richards. I'm a musician. Look, I, I, like, I like Josh. You, Richards. you like him? Really him and Dave Portnoy's podcast. Oh, is, he's got. He's got. Okay, okay, very okay. good. I, I can respect him for that. One. Yeah. BFFs. I'm a fan. Mm. Them and them and Brianna. I don't know. I, like I tried it, but it's too much drama. I see their clips. I don't really watch. It's too much drama. It's pretty good. Really? They bring it. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, I like Dave Portnoy, but I mean, what you got? Dave Portnoy's hilarious. He's probably one of my favorite. He's he's, he's a pretty cool guy. Yeah, yeah he is. He's definitely got to be pretty one of my favorite person. favorite celebrities. So, but um, I mean, um, who else has songs? Uh, Dixie D'Amelio and Nessa Barrett are the ones that also TikTokers that say they're songwriters on Google, which I don't know about Dixie, but I actually did listen to Nessa Barrett's Barrett or Barrett. I Barrett. Don't know. Yeah, Nessa Barrett. Um, 
Do not she like has her. a really good voice. So, I mean, she actually like her 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 songs are a specific genre, but they're the lyrics are solid. I, I want to just real quick, and then we'll move on. I want to compare these lyrics, these bars of Addison Rae and Nessa Barrett. I, I, I know I know that they I'm sure I know that they bars. have lots I'm of sure help. Such sure bars. But okay, Nessa Barrett's song called Pain. You took away my heart and told me we were different. Beautiful with the room to grow. You left me in the morning, softly without warning. How was I supposed to know? I think that's solid. I mean, those are some deep, passionate lyrics. That's what you call bars. Yep. <laughs> but I'll put about two thousand dollars. She didn't write one of one of those words. So I don't know. Uh, I maybe, maybe she had some input. But um, here. Okay. But compare that to Addison Ray, which Addison Ray most likely probably had more help. Honestly, probably. Well, I mean, her, her Drake, Drake is ghostwritten too, so yeah. and he's one of the best. So, but most Listen, everybody <laughs> like doesn't write their full music. Like I, almost yeah, nearly yeah. every Except writer. Except for Juice World, I think did because he he, yeah, he's he just, a crazy freestyler. Yeah, but just, I mean, that's he basically all that's with production. He's not and music. <laughs> anything, like, they're mostly the perform. Most musicians, like, um, I think like some of the outliers that I know, like just from people that I, I kind of listen to, like Travis Scott and Kanye, like they help produce their stuff and write their yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of like. Musicians, especially, they don't produce their music. Like they hire other There's, people. Like yeah, like Playboy Cardi, like he would nothing that Metro Metro. Oh, yeah. you know what I'm mm. saying. And Pierre Bourne. Yeah. So this is this is so Addison Rae's lyrics Pierre now. Bourne. I said Metro Boomin. So that's the wrong. That's the wrong person. <laughs> well, Twenty One Savage did all, like they do. Whole, I mean, producers do whole albums with rap artists. So like, yeah. I mean, yeah, it kind of shows that I'm gonna get clowned in the comments. I, I think there's several people who wouldn't be anything without without their beats. Like, I, I think the beat makes a song. Oh yeah, especially for, for, are, for are trap music and rap music. For everything, dude. The beat. You can't. You can't. Really have, or else it's just a poem. If you don't yeah. have, if you don't have I mean, any instrumentals, at, then at the same time, I guess. But okay, so this is Addison Rae's lyrics now. It's called "Obsessed" is her song. You say you're obsessed Why with me, so, so I took a second and said, "Me too. I'm obsessed with me." as much as you say you die for me I'd die for me too and if I lost you I'd still have me I can't lose when you say you're, that you're obsessed with me me too yeah that's terrible okay that that's, is like, I'm not even discussing that, I, that's what I'm saying I know she has to put on that act and stuff but it's like that's if I aw oh, Davo died he's my best friend now he's gone but I still have me I still got myself <laughs> I mean it's, <laughs> I mean, it's like, like a song like, I mean it's like not like that I, I understand so but cool. some people take the lyrics into as a musician I take the lyrics. It's um, true. You probably more insight than we do. Actually, okay. And pro- but probably it's like do. George drops dead. Well, I've still got me. I mean, <laughs> you die for me, I die for me too. Like, it's just, you know. You st- I still have me. I can't lose. Like, that's. I just don't know who gives those TikTok artists, like, playtime. Like, who would, who would yeah, listen I know, to one of those like, songs more than once? Like, eight year old girls? I think you need, to, you, you need some help if you're. If you're Consistently bumping, yeah. bumping Nessa Barrett. Like, how do you, how yeah. do you go on Spotify and, t- you yeah, know, we're yeah. bumping some Nessa Barrett today. That, that's the. Move. I mean, well, okay. I, I got to admit, though, her songs are pretty. They're they're uh, not dark, but they're a little gloomy. And if you have a sad playlist, it's definitely the vibe. But Fair. <laughs> but um, I, I don't know, dude. Yeah. <laughs> It's too much for me, dude. The, I'm, drama, the drama is. I, I'm, just... I'm staying out of that. I'm yeah, not a fan. Yeah, I, and, and... I said a little, but okay. Yeah. Yeah. 